this is uh, 3R test question uh, 3R test 5 question number 36 now it is given that alpha beta are uh, roots of this equation and both alpha and beta are negative right that is given in the question now we need to find an equation whose roots are mod alpha and mod beta equation with roots mod alpha and mod beta so let's find sum of roots mod alpha plus mod beta now we need to replace the value of this in terms of coefficients a b c so for that we can see here alpha is negative beta is negative you know mod alpha we can write as minus alpha as alpha is negative and similarly mod beta can be written as minus beta because beta is also negative now so this is like uh, minus of alpha plus beta alpha plus beta is sum of the roots of this equation that can be replaced by minus b by a so we get sum of the roots is b by a and and you know mod alpha mod beta is positive we can also write this as mod of b by a right b by a is a positive quantity so there is no harm if we can put more mod over it product of roots mod alpha into mod beta mod of alpha beta and alpha beta can be replaced by c by a right and same here mod alpha uh, c by a. now if we have to form equation see either we can form like this x square minus some of the roots we can use mod b by mod a into x plus product of the roots mod c by mod a equal to 0 this gives us answer mod of a x square minus mod of b into x plus mod of c equal to 0 and that is choice number c now another way to make equation is instead of using some of the roots mod b by mod a we can use some of the roots b by a so it becomes x square minus b by a into x plus mod c by mod a equal to 0 so equation same equation can can be written like this now one more thing we can observe here that C as both roots are negative another, another way to say this that both roots are negative A into F0 greater than 0 that is AC greater than 0 or we can say C by A greater than 0 so product of the roots you can just look at look here C by A is positive so we can even remove mod sign over it so another way to form equation is x square minus sum of the roots p by a into x plus product of the roots that is c by a equal to 0 so this equation becomes ax square minus bx plus c equal to 0 or we choose this as sum of the roots and this as product of the roots so another way to form equation but if you look at the choices only this choice is given in the question none other choice is there so answer is C